Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please find a like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory Abba Father. For this person you are hearing me right now, God is giving you your own place, your own space in life. When I mean space, your own personal something, something that you can call your own. When you can call this place and say, this is my own land. This is my own business. This is my own this. This is my, like not being a dependent. You depending on someone else, you understand? So you want freedom. God is giving you that freedom. God is giving you that freedom because you ask of the Lord and he's, he gave. The Bible says in Matthew 7, 7, he said, ask and ye shall receive. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. He said, for everyone that ask and receive, for everyone that seek shall find, for everyone that knock, the, the door is open to them. And he went ahead to say, who among you that the son will ask for bread and, the, and, and, and you will give them stones, you will give them bad things. Say, if ye being evil know how to give good things to your children, how much more your father which is in heaven. Child of God, you have asked the Lord and the Lord answers. Because our God is not deaf. God is a faithful God. We are the ones that are not faithful. That is why I keep praying for mercy and grace for us and my members, wherever they are. Because sometimes you realize that God has a lot in store for us. But because of our faithlessness, because of our complaint, because of our nagging, impatient with God, most things we miss it. God has more beautiful things for us in stock. He's just looking at us. Some of us will just slip away. We go and go and go and go before we remember, before we now come back. It's like we start again from the beginning when we're almost there. So I keep praying that the Lord will give us boldness to stand and said, even if I did not receive what I am asking, I will still serve God. Because if we have that mindset, all that we are asking for will meet us in that place where we are still serving the Lord. You understand? Even the ones that we did not ask will meet us in that place where we are still serving the Lord. Some persons get frustrated at God and they leave, God pre they leave God's presence. Some of us, we get frustrated at, all, at God. We forget, we throw away our faith. We throw away our belief. Well, I'm tired. After a while, we realize we come back again. Something that we're supposed to get the next day, we start praying again for another year. So sometimes that is why I keep asking the Lord for mercy. For mercy. For us. Mercy. Mercy. Because when you look at the way we live our lives, sometimes our believers, it does not really move God. Because God is just waiting for us to be dedicated. For us to hold on. Hallelujah. This person, you need to understand that you ask and the Lord gave to you. You will have your own space because God is able to gather you. No matter where we scatter away to, God is able. Even when we scatter ourselves to different nations, God is able to gather us together. Hallelujah. You will get your own space. Because many people now are watching you in tears. They are watching you in tears because they see God gathering you together. Hallelujah. They did not know that you are one of God's elect. You are one of God's elect. That have decided to serve God even when you don't know how it's going to end. One thing that I know... The expectation of the righteous will not be cut short. Hallelujah. They are watching you in tears because the proposal of, oh, this one is qualified, this one is not qualified, this one will not get his own, this one. The proposal, that is not how God proposes his own. That is why I tell people, be kind, because we don't know who we are going to meet tomorrow. The beggar on the roadside might become the president tomorrow. God can't use anyone. He even said that he can raise stones. 
if people hate who does not want to worship him, he will raise the little ones, he will raise stones. Hallelujah. They are in tears because they did not know that you are one of God's elect. After they look down on you, God, it is so unfortunate as well that even the elect sometimes will ridicule another elect because this elected one is bigger than the one, the other one. It is a sad thing, but it is the reality. Hallelujah. People who don't want to hear the story, they want to share their glory. They want to share their glory. But that glory belongs to God. They are in, they are in tears now watching you. Because they did not know that you too are one of God's elect. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Ezekiel chapter 36, it says, For I will take you from among the hidden and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land. God is speaking to somebody. He said he will take you among from others, among that place where you were looked down, among that place where you were ridiculed, where you were not really appreciated. He said he will take you from among them and gather you out of all, all countries, gather you together, and will bring you into your own land. Somebody, you are about to have your own space in life. Everyone deserves to have their own space. You are a ministry, you are a ministry, you are this. You deserve to have your own space. I said, this is my own space. But when you try to create that space, there is one thing that always happens. People will make it look as if you don't know what you are doing. Oh, if everybody is going to have a space, it's you. If everybody is going to be a prophet, it's you. Is everybody going? What happens to you? Is it not the same God that created them, that created you? Why would they look at you and say, oh, is everybody going to? No. All you need, all the Lord requires from us is humbleness. Humbleness in seeking the Lord. And he will guide our path. You understand? Somebody, the Lord is giving you your own space. You will have your own land. There is no negotiation about it. It's not like maybe God will not do or God will, God will do it because he says whatever he says is what he does. Whatever he says is what he does. They are watching you in tears now. They did not know that you too. You are one of God's select. You are one of those that God will give their own space. Go give their own place. Give their own anointing. Give their own audience. Give their own this. They never knew. Being underrated is something that people easily jump into. They love to underrate others. Ah, this one is not going anywhere. Who told them that you are not going anywhere? God is the one that gives speed. God is the one that gives strength. God is the one that gives grace. God is the one that holds our hands. Hallelujah. They are watching you in tears now. Because you are just starting to see the goodness of God. It's just the beginning. What is even making them to cry? It's just the beginning. It is just the beginning. Hallelujah. I am praying for somebody. That the Lord will take you from where you are. Gather you around on all side. And bring you into your own land. Bring you into your own testimony. Your own breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, I am praying for you. Hmm. That where many people thought they will watch you fail, they will watch you now, they will, be, they will be crying. Because they will see that the Lord who elected you, who elects you, have hold your hands. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remember your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.